Hi guys, this is Raju Rahman from Tectonic. If you've seen my review of the secure USB BT, you'll know how easy it is to secure your files on a hardware encrypted USB flash drive. That device required you to authenticate or unlock your flash drive first via a phone before you could access it. Super easy, right? But what if you don't want to rely on your phone and don't always have your phone on hand? Well, Secure Data has thought about that too. With the secure USB KP and its keypad, you have to unlock the drive using a pin first before you can access the files on the device. If you're interested, keep watching. This is the retail packaging for the secure USB KP. You can see the flash drive itself through the transparent plastic packaging. This is of course the eight gigabyte version, but you can also buy up to a max capacity of 64 gigabytes. These USB flash drives are obviously not intended for very large files. So if you did need something with higher capacity, you should look into the secure drive KP or even the secure drive BT, which I've already reviewed on this channel. You can get a whopping eight terabyte SSD on that if you wanted, but let's get back to the product on the hand. Let's get this packaging open. So here's the flash drive with the protective sleeve. The flash drive looks seriously cool. It looks really futuristic with the 11 button keypad here. With the protective metal sleeve on, the flash drive becomes dust and water resistant up to one meter. It's IP57 certified, so you can be confident it's built to last as long as you don't go scuba diving with it. I have to admit, I do like this device in black. It just looks a little more minimal and modern. You've got secure USB branding on the top. Of course, when it comes to weight with the sleeve on, it's only 22 grams. At 78 by 20 by 10 millimeters, it's taller than the secure USB BT. But that's not surprising considering this actually has a keypad on it. Here are a few more flash drives just to give you an idea of the size. Yes, the KP is definitely bigger, but it's not even worth thinking about. All these devices are portable, and even though the KP is slightly taller, it's still very small relative to anything else you might be carrying. If you take into account it's hardware encrypted, it's rugged, has a built-in battery and a keypad, then it's actually remarkably small. Now, if we go back to the USB KP, you can see the 11 keys here on the front, 10 alpha numeric keys and an unlock lock key. There's also an LED indicator on the top to show you the lock status. Around the back of the flash drive, you have the part and serial numbers. All the specs are up on the screen, so as usual, feel free to pause if you want, but the key specifications are as follows. It has AES XTS 256-bit full disk hardware encryption. It FIPS 140-2 level 3 validated, which means it follows strict guidelines for physical tamper resistance. The interior parts are covered in epoxy to prevent media removal by hackers. The drive will work with any operating system. It doesn't require any software or drivers to be installed, which means it'll work on any computer, whether that's a work computer or a public computer even if you're not the admin. It's got a USB 3.0 slash 3.1 and 3.2 interface with a stated read speed of 152 MB per second and a write speed of 118 MB per second. We will of course test the read and write speeds a little later on in the review. Unlike the secure USB BT, which I reviewed prior to this, there's really no need to set this up for it to work. You don't need to install any application on your phone or anything like that. Basically, this flash drive doesn't require anything else in order to be able to use it. It's completely standalone, which is really great. In order to access the drive for the first time, you just need to unlock it. Mind you, when I first tried out the box, there wasn't any charge on the device, so I had to plug it into my laptop's USB drive for a few minutes just to give it enough juice to be able to unlock it. Look what happens when I insert the drive into the USB without unlocking it. Nothing. It won't even appear under File Explorer. That's that's key here, right? Uh, you don't want anyone to be able to access this drive without entering a pin. So to unlock the flash drive, remember you have to do this before inserting it into the USB on your laptop or computer. Press the key button, enter the default pin, which is 11223344. Then press the key button again. You'll see the green unlocked LED light up. You now have 30 seconds to insert the drive into the USB. When you insert it, the drive will automatically appear on your screen. Now you're free to transfer your files to and from the drive. It's super easy and it's just super convenient. So now that you know how to unlock it, you should seriously consider changing the default pin. It's also really easy to do. Firstly, unlock the drive as I showed you earlier. Within 30 seconds of the drive being unlocked, press the key button twice. When the blue LED in the middle starts flashing, enter the new pin. For this demonstration, I'll set it to 22446688, but remember the code must be between seven to 15 digits and can't be repetitive for consecutive numbers. After entering the new pin, press the key button twice again. The green unlock LED will light up. Enter your new pin again, then finally just press the lock button once. The red locked LED will appear and your pin will have been updated. Just make sure you don't forget that pin because if you or anyone for that matter enters an incorrect pin 10 
times consecutively. The flash drive's brute force detection will trigger, at which point the pin and encryption will be deleted. Basically, all your data will be lost forever. Now, there is a way to safeguard against this. It's by setting up an admin mode and separate admin pin. I'm not going to go through the process of setting that up in this review, but that option's there for you if you're worried about losing your data because of brute force detection. Admin mode is also great for when you want to lend a drive to a friend or maybe you want to give it to an employee to use. Either way, this mode will allow you to reset the pin and then give it to someone else to use. With admin mode, you can also set a drive to read only, which is great if you want the person you lend the drive to to only be able to view and not edit any of the files on the drive. Another cool thing I wanted to show you guys is the Secure Data Media Saver app. You need one of these adapters which Secure Data sell on their site. For this demonstration, I'll be using the USB Type A to USB C adapter. Just plug the Secure USB KP into it, then unlock the drive with your pin. If you have the Media Saver app installed, it will load automatically and then search your phone for photos and video. Once that's done, you can transfer all your media over to the Secure USB KP. The app isn't restricted to just the Secure USB KP. I mean, it will work with other drives for secure data. It just makes securing your media that much easier. So what speeds did this achieve on Crystal Display Sky here you ask? We got a sequential 164.91 MB per second read speed and 83.95 per second write speed. Uh, the read speed is faster than the stated read speed of 152 MB per second. Unfortunately, the write speed is a little slower than the stated speed. But don't get me wrong, encryption adds some performance overhead. So with that in mind, it's still plenty fast. Overall, I believe the Secure USB KP is a great solution for consumers who actually care about security. It's so easy to use and convenient, it just makes complete sense if you need something to secure your data. When it comes to performance, the write speed might not be as fast as the state speed, but in all honesty, it's still really good if you appreciate the fact that it's encrypting your data as you transfer files to it. In my testing, I found it to be just as fast as a bog standard non-encrypted flash drive, so you're not losing much in transfer speeds. On the subject of bog standard flash drives, yes, the Secure USB KP is significantly more expensive than one of those, but don't forget what you're getting here also offers significantly more in terms of security. And of course, this just looks so damn cool. Come on, look at that keypad. If you're interested, I've placed links to purchase the Secure USB KP in the description below. This has been Raju Rahman from Tectonic. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you, please subscribe and like. That would really help me out. And don't forget to check out these other videos too.